Welcome to the MPL Goal Show, the show where we bring you all the action from across the Northern Premier League. We start at Hebburn Town, where the high-flying Hornets took on FC United of Manchester. The hosts brought in two new faces on loan from South Shields ahead of this one, and one of those players, João Gomez, broke the deadlock with this long-range effort. FC United had already won once at Hebburn Sports Ground this season, a 3-0 win in the FA Trophy and in the 92nd minute they found an equaliser who substitute Declan McLaughlin's free kick, evaded everyone and nestled in the corner. Up next, a clash between Greater Manchester rivals Hyde United and Ashton United. It was the visitors who drew first blood inside 15 minutes, thanks to this header from Louis White. But in Jack Redshaw, Hyde United boasts one of the division's informed strikers, and before the half hour, he netted his 11th of the season to ensure the points were shipped. On to Ilkston Town, who welcomed Bly Spartans to the new manor ground. The visitors parted company with manager David Stockdale after a takeover of the club was confirmed on Friday, and they found themselves behind inside 15 minutes. Harvey Kirby more the scorer. It was two before half time, thanks to this fine header from Jamie Walker. Declan Eric Thompson sealed the win late on for Ilkston. Three goals, three points, and the Robins hold on to their spot in the top five. League leaders Macclesfield welcomed Lancaster City to the Leasing.com Stadium. Could the Dolly Blues end their unbeaten start in the league? Four minutes in, it looked like an upset maybe on the cards as Dylan Thompson headed home the opener. But Macclesfield came into the weekend 10 points clear at the top and was soon back on level terms. Danny Elliott converting from the penalty spot. Robbie Savage's side led before half time. Justin Johnson with this composed finish. Elliot had his second and Macclesfield third shortly after the break. Then James Edmondson rounded the goalkeeper to make it four. five-star performance from the Silkman, as Danny Whitehead came off the bench to add another for the hosts and wrap up the convincing win. On to one of the chasing pack, Stockton Town, who hosted Matlock Town. There was only one goal in this one and it went the way of the anchors. Josh Scott finding a late winner to secure a fifth straight win for the hosts. Warrington Ryland started the weekend in the relegation zone and were keen to pick up a much needed win against Baseford United. The opener came from the penalty spot, Ben Hardcastle making no mistake for the Blues. Harrison Hooper rifled home a second for the host before the break. Then late in the day, substitute Mutumba Masanka's deflected strike made it three. Another team in need of a win near the bottom of the division were Whitby Town, who hosted a Prescott Cables side with their eyes on the top five. The Seaside has struck first in this one, Connor Smith keeping his curl to lash the ball home at the near post. The host second was another five finish, Stephen Walker the man to make it 2-0. Jack Goodwin pulled a goal back for Prescott in the final minutes, but it wasn't enough to stop them falling to a sixth league defeat of the season. Whitby, meanwhile, climb up to 16th. The final action of the weekend comes from Borough Park, where Workington entertained High Flying Works Up Town. With 37 minutes gone, a mistake from visiting goalkeeper Tommy Taylor was pounced on by Stephen Rigg. He rifled the ball home to move into double figures for the season.
Worksop came into the weekend with a league high 35 goals to their name, and the Tigers drew back on level turns before the hour mark through Jordan Borough. But there was to be one final twist to the tale. Regan Hutchinson turning the ball into his own net with 82 minutes gone. 2-1 it finished to Workington. <laughs> 